Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Saturday, the 10th of January, or, sorry, <laughs> January, 10th of February. Um, I want to welcome you to today's broadcast. Uh, we are on YouTube. Uh, we have Spotify. We're on uh, the podcasting. Um, go to Tom and Sarah on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Uh, that's one way that you can help this ministry grow. Go to the podcast, subscribe to my podcast, get notifications uh, when I'm on or when a new one comes out. Uh, that'll help out. Um, also, if you will, um, <clears throat> I have a um, some things for sale to help out with the ministry. We're you know we're needing finances. Uh, we're trying to raise uh, four to five hundred dollars per month. Uh, so I need to have. Uh, a schedule, um, uh, people pledging so that they say, I will give this much money uh, per month for the ministry. Um, also, uh, if you want to do that, Tom and Sarah Ministries at gmail.com. I also have books for sale, Tom and Sarah, uh, SOS, A 50 Day Journey into the Heart of God. And also, I have uh, From Breakdown to Breakthrough, My Journey to Soul Health. Uh, those two books are. Uh, for sale, you can get them from me for $20 minimum donation, and uh, you can get both of them shipped to you for $20. Uh, also, you can go to Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, Walmart.com, and get them as well. Um, in the fall, just to let you know, I'm going to be going to the, the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. Um, I'm going to go there uh, really just... You know, I've been to a couple of DTSs in my life, one at YWAM, one at Agape Force. But this one I'm going to because it's a, um, you know, it's a school that I really want to uh, draw closer to the Lord. I want to get deeper and deeper in Him. And, and this will allow me to do that so that what I do forward, not that what I'm doing forward now is, 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 uh, is not from the Lord, but what I, what I want to do forward is everything I want to do. I want to be deeper with Jesus. And so anyway, if you want to help out with that, I need to raise $5,000 for the school. And I also need to raise another $2,000 for the missions trip. So if you will be willing to donate to that, Tom and Sarah ministries at gmail.com. And I'll tell you how to uh, donate into that. Okay. We take Zelle, PayPal, Venmo, all that stuff. Anyway, I also have these things for sale. They're little um, wristbands that say, Seek God's Kingdom. I give them out whenever I minister to somebody, whether they're born again or not. And, um, and you can have them. They're a dollar each. Uh, just send them to me and tell me how many you want. Just send me an email. How many do you want? And we'll be able to do that. Um, I don't have a website yet. I can't afford it, but don't have a website yet. But you can, uh, on here, message me. Uh, or send me an email, Tom and Sarah Ministries at gmail.com. Uh, before we get into the word today, I want to tell you about a book. It's called Experiencing the Depths of Jesus Christ. It's written by Jeannie Guyon, and it's an incredible book on drawing closer and closer to the Lord, getting deeper in God, and um, not being influenced by the outside, but really going after uh, God who lives inside of you and developing uh, that relationship with him that is really deep because that's what really God wants. All right. So Tom and Sarah ministries at gmail.com. And, um, you know, we're looking for supporters for one year. If you will pledge a certain amount of money, you know, if I can get 10 people to donate $40 per month, that pledge is $40 per month for one year. That'll take care of it. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So we are in John chapter 12. And um, remember, Jesus uh, was just about to be seized and arrested. He hadn't yet arrived at the feast of, um, of, of the Passover in Jerusalem. But uh, here we go. We're six days before the Passover began. And Jesus went back to Bethany, the town where he raised Lazarus from the dead. So he was in Jerusalem. And then he was getting yelled at by the Pharisees. And then he leaves Jerusalem, goes back to Mary and Martha and Bethany and the town where he raised Lazarus from the dead. 
and they had prepared a supper for Jesus. Now Martha and Lazarus and Mary were among those at the table. All right, so he's eating dinner at their house. And then Mary picks up an alabaster jar. That's translated from the Aramaic. Uh, picks up a jar. It had to be happened to be alabaster, filled with nearly a liter or a pound of extremely rare, costly perfume, the purest extract of nard, which is what they anoint the king's feet with. Okay, and then so she pours it over Jesus' feet, and she wipes them dry with her long hair, and the fragrance of the costly oil fills the house. Now, the fragrance usually associated with a king um, and, 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 and this thing from the king, it was on Jesus' feet and he stands with this fragrance, okay? He has this fragrance on him, this kingly fragrance as he stands before his accusers later. And what happens is that you have to understand that uh, this fragrance influenced the entire room. The atmosphere changed when she poured the oil on him. Okay? The oil is on him. She pours it on him. And he uh, goes ballistic. All right? And, 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 and you cannot influence a room, change the atmosphere in a room, and not have not have something be um, mentioned about it. People will experience the shift in the atmosphere, influence them one way or the other, good or bad, positive or negatively. Now, many people were uh, there were positively influenced by like, wow, this is a beautiful smell. This is beautiful what she did. The, the disciples, disappointingly to me, uh, Judas Iscariot, Judas of Kiriath, Judas the locksmith, all right? He was the money guy. He carried the money purse. People donated to Jesus' ministry, and Judas had it, all right? What happens here is that Judas gets upset, all right, because, because this thing has happened. Now think of the beauty of what just happened. Jesus goes back to Bethany to be with his friends, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Just imagine that scene when he arrives back. Martha and Mary are just like, wow. Judas is like, yeah, I was with you in heaven, you know. And, um, and now they're sitting down and eating. She does this thing with the oil. Some people are excited about it. Some people are not. Okay, and then Judas, he was a locksmith. He was from Iscariot or, or Kerioth, and he was the betrayer. Now, John makes sure that you knew that he was the betrayer. He says, Judas, Simon's son, the betrayer, spoke up and said, what a waste. We could have sold the perfume for a fortune and given the money to, a poor, to the poor. Now, this perfume was worth about 300 days wages. So it's about a year's wages for a pound of this nard that she pours over Jesus' feet. And Judas, who betrayed Jesus, now John wanted you to make sure that's the Judas, not the other guy. Verse 6, in fact, Judas had no heart for the poor. He only said this because he was a thief and in charge uh, of the money case. He would steal money whenever he wanted from the funds uh, given to support Jesus' ministry. All right, so he would steal the money. John probably saw it once or twice. And, 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 and this speaks to me because what happens is Jesus believes in you when you don't deserve to be believed in. He believes in your destiny. He believes in what you're called to do. He believes in what you were created for. He believes in you. He's not somebody who's just, you know, I don't know if I'm going to. No, he believes in you. He, he, he wants the best for you. He's always looking out for your best. He created you and, was, and, and is desiring for you to walk in that manner that you uh, live in. And Judas, you know, 
He lied. He was lying. He didn't care about the poor. But Jesus says to him, leave her alone. I love this. Leave her alone. She has saved it for the time of my burial. You'll always have the poor with you, but you won't always have me. Now, in Deuteronomy uh, 15, 11, he says, For the poor will never cease from the land. Therefore, I command you, saying, You shall open your hand wide to your brother, to your poor, and to your needy of your land. Jesus, I believe, is quoting this, but he says, You're always going to have the poor. But you don't always have me. She's anointing me for my burial. I read a book uh, years ago called Anointed for Burial. Tremendous book about the uh, Khmer Rouge in, in, in uh, Cambodia and how, they, uh, how this missionary was there. Jesus is believing that you are going to mature. So I had given my son permission to drive my tractor before he had a driver's license so he could mow the lawn and he didn't have a driver's license yet but it was preparing him for that time that he was going to have his driver's license so we're going to stop there uh, because i want to pick it up tomorrow at verse 9 but um, you're not always going to have Jesus around. So draw closer to him. Fellowship with him. Let the oil of your life flow upon his feet. And let your life change the fragrance or the atmosphere in an area. When a Christian walks into the room, when I walk into a room, when, when a believer walks into the room, the atmosphere shifts because the enemy and Jesus cannot, cannot dwell in the same place. And you will either be influenced by the enemy or you will be influenced by Jesus. And so you get to do this. You get to walk into a place and change the atmosphere. You will never leave people indifferent about your presence. One way or the other. They'll either be drawn closer to Jesus or uh, you will be drawn further away. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Be an imitator of me, Paul said, as I am of Jesus. I want people to look at me and say, I want to imitate you because you look like Jesus. Amen. Well, that's where we're going to end today. It was a short message today, but uh, still, I, I believe that it's important that you grab a hold of it. Uh, again, if you want to donate into the ministry, Tom and Sarah Ministries at gmail.com. I'll tell you how to do it. Um, if you um, want to help out with my schooling, I welcome that, Tom and Sarah Ministries at gmail.com. I will tell you how to do that as well. All right. Well, God bless you guys. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you next time.